Good afternoon, Kevin. Great to talk to you on the first day of BTME. How's footfall been for you? Uh, the footfall, footfall's been really good. We've um, had a really busy stand, lots of people coming on. It's been very vibrant. Yeah, very good. And what are you hoping to achieve from being in, at the show this year? Really just to brand awareness, make people aware that we're out there, uh, and also drive this need uh, and message across that, you know, this is the future for the turf industry. And launched in 2013, it's really taken off, and I know from speaking to you earlier, you've had some fantastic feedback from some um, really great venues. Do you want to tell me a bit about that? Yeah, when we launched it was quite a new concept, it still is a fairly new concept, it's, um, you know, it's a new ethos of managing and planning work, um, so part of that, part of that um, drive has been to educate people in the benefits of using this sort of software, but since our launch and since we've acquired members and users, the feedback's been great. Um, you know, it's a system that helps people back up what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and it can help turf managing situations when they need to access data to get a point across whether that be a machinery um, you know, machinery replacement plan or whether it's you know, relining bunkers because they spend too much time maintaining you know, bunker washouts and things like that. So the system you know, really, really is sort of taking off now. So great application and it's really useful. You talked earlier about with recruitment, for example, you've got that, users have got that recorded data and in a planning meeting or with their bosses, they can argue with the recorded data they have, they can prove things to work in their favour. Yeah, there's been, I mean, one of the most common ones has got to be bunkers on a golf course. There is, there are resources that take a lot of labour and a lot of time and effort to maintain. Um, the trend's been over the last few years to cut those resources, both staff-wise and monetary. Um, course managers and head greenkeepers now have got to justify where their time and effort and labour goes more and more. Um, if your information's just in the common written diary, um, the information's there, but it's, it's very hard to get that information out to use in a, in a meeting situation. And this is exactly what the software does. It, it makes that data credible and can really back you up to get your point across. You know, it could be to secure funding, extra staff, or it could simply be to say, we spend as much time as we can on this area. If you want us to increase maintenance or do other things, let's have a look at the operation on a whole and segment where we put that labour. How simple is it to uh to just to take up the use of the, the technology? Yeah, using systems like this, there's always a little bit of groundwork to do. Um, there's always staff information, machinery and stock to put in, but once that's in, it's in. It's just then a case of using it on a day-to-day -day basis, whether you're planning work or whether you're diarising. Um, so like I say, once the information's in, it's just a case of choosing how you want to use it. Some people will plan, some people will just diarise. It doesn't matter any which way you still get the same outcome. Yeah. And technology is the future as you say and uh, I think that's true to say from the, the interest you have on the stand and uh, how would you argue that's the case? You've just got to look at the magazines and the publications, it's all about data whether or not that's labour hours, how long things are taking, green speed, you know, surface firmness, all these things are getting collected with various different tools. But what's not to forget is that your day-to-day -day, um, stock records, labour resources, that all needs quantifying as well.